His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the honorary president of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa, on the anniversary of the National Action Charter. His Highness wished His Majesty abundant health and the people of Bahrain further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a congratulatory cable from the Honorary President of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa, on the anniversary of the National Action Charter. His Highness expressed pride on the occasion and for the honorable accomplishments across all sectors led by His Majesty the King and supported by His Royal Highness. His Highness wished His Royal Highness abundant health and happiness and Bahrain further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Ambassador of France to Bahrain, Eric Giraud term at Rifa'a Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of further in the strategic partnership between Bahrain and France to meet the aspirations of both countries and their people. His Royal Highness affirmed that Bahrain-France relations advance across all sectors as evidenced by the ongoing development of multi-sectoral partnerships. During the meeting, regional and global developments and issues of common interest were also discussed. For his part, the ambassador expressed gratitude for His Royal Highness's commitment to furthering Bahrain-France collaboration and wished Bahrain further progress and prosperity. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the outgoing Italian Ambassador to Bahrain Paula Amadi at Rifa'a Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the ongoing growth and advancement of bilateral relations between Bahrain and Italy across all sectors. His Royal Highness emphasized the importance of building upon joint achievements and enhancing opportunities for bilateral collaboration and strategic partnership between the two countries to achieve common goals and aspirations. His Royal Highness commended the efforts of the Ambassador in bolstering the bilateral relations between the two countries and strengthening a coordination across various areas. His Royal Highness wished the Ambassador success in her future endeavors. During the meeting, regional and global developments and issues of common interest were discussed. The Ambassador expressed gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness, noting her ongoing support to strengthening Bahrain-Italy relations. She wished Bahrain continued progress and prosperity. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, also attended the meeting. His Majesty the King's Representative for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Board of Directors of Babco Energies, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a representative of the management of the Arab Shipbuilding and Repair Yard Company, Esri. He received Chairman of Esri Ayman bin Tawfiq Al Mu'ayyad, Chairman of the Executive Committee, Sheikh Hamad bin Muhammad Al Khalifa, and Executive Vice President, Sheikh Muhammad bin Rashid Al Khalifa. Minister of Industry and Commerce Abdullah bin Adil Fakhro, CEO of Urban Planning and Development Authority, Engineer Ahmed Abdul Aziz Al Khayyat, and CEO of Babco Energies, Mark Thomas, were also present. The meeting discussed ASRI's financial position and reviewed several projects, the most prominent of which is the master plan for the marine area, as His Highness praised the idea of the project and wished its success. The achievements of ESRI in various sectors were highlighted, along with the outstanding performance of employees across departments and divisions, all credited to the executive management's efforts to improve the company's services. His Highness Sheikh Nasser commended ESRI's dedication to supporting its financial recovery plan, extending appreciation for the exceptional role of the members of the board of directors and the company's executive management team in advancing its business. The Minister of Labor, Jamil Ahmedan, affirmed that the decision to issue an end-of-service reward system for non-Bahrainis working in the private sector, which will be implemented on March 1st, has been implemented for years, with the difference being in developing the application mechanism only. 
the minister explained that the charge that the change includes includes the employer paying the social insurance organization on a monthly basis and the organization paying the amount to the worker as a reward at the end of his service. Hamidan stressed that the decision will achieve many positive benefits for employers and workers. He noted that the decision will make it easier for employers when settling workers' rights after the end of employment by a paying monthly percentage of the remuneration instead of paying it all at once. He indicated that this development will ensure that some uh, cases of labor complaints that may occur when employers are re late and paying workers' dues at the end of service are addressed. Minister of Housing and Urban Planning Amna al rumehi visited the Housing Finance Exhibition in the presence of officials from the Ministry of Iskan and Bank. The minister was briefed on the latest developments in providing housing services through projects and financing offers. She appreciated the efforts of all real estate companies and banks participating in the exhibition and their keenness to provide a large and diverse financing offers and residential projects. Aramehi welcomed the joining of a number of real estate companies to participate in the exhibition and the Beiti real estate platform, stressing that it contributes to diversifying the housing options and solutions for citizens. The minister praised the partnership between the government and private sectors to provide social housing services and the positive results achieved by the partnership program in providing thousands of housing services to citizens. She was also briefed on the latest developments in launching Beiti platform, which the database indicates that there is a remarkable demand for visiting the platform and learning about the projects and financing offers available. The Minister of Industry and Commerce, Abdullah Fakhro, participated in the launch of the 2024 MESAC Family Business Summit hosted by KPMG in the Middle East, South Asia and the Caspian Sea region in Bahrain. The summit was held under the slogan, Preserving the Legacy of Family Businesses Across the Region and addressed important topics including preserving and renewing the legacy of family businesses, reinventing family businesses, the role of women and preserving family health heritage, diversification when upholding family values, and emerging entrepreneurship that drives a digital innovation within family businesses. The minister affirmed the importance of developing the business sector in Bahrain and attracting more local and international investments by facilitating procedures and developing laws and legislation that support conducting businesses in a way that ensures growth and sustainability. He said that with their long history, family businesses represent an important part of the national economy and have a positive impact on the comprehensive development of the region. The National Action Charter guarantees all citizens and residents of Bahrain have the right to practice religious freedom and worship. It includes clear texts affirming freedom of belief and the sanctity of places of worship and that religion and ideological freedoms are considered national constants. More in this report. The National Action Charter established the concepts and culture of religious tolerance and peaceful coexistence with the modern vision of His Majesty the King. Its influence extended regionally and globally, which reflected the civilized image of Bahraini society and all its sects. Over time, Bahrain has been able to become a land for everyone from the East and West to enjoy a safe and a stable life without discrimination. The Kingdom has succeeded in making peace its firm approach and its firm strategic choice that upholds the principle of a human brotherhood, rejecting conflicts, accepting differences, adopting dialogue and diplomacy, and spreading the culture of tolerance, coexistence and love. Bahrain has a unique experience in the field of religious freedom, the freedom to hold religious celebrations, and the freedom to practice religious rituals. The Kingdom is also making great efforts to consolidate the approach of peace and a human brotherhood, and to adopt and build on the principles of peaceful coexistence as a result of the comprehensive development process led by His Majesty the King. His Majesty launched many pioneering initiatives in the field of tolerance, such as the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence and the inauguration of the King Hamad Chair for Interfaith Dialogue and Peaceful Coexistence at the University of Sapienza, 
which had a great impact in encouraging everyone to make more effort in the field of tolerance and coexistence. The National Action Charter is considered the pillar that supports development. The Charter continued in renewing plans and strategies and enacting and developing legislation, especially in the technology and communication sector. The Charter succeeded in drawing a forward-looking for, uh, roadmap for the future and was a solid start for the technology and communication sector. Bahrain was able to succeed in the field of digital transformation and employed advanced digital technology in all institutions and bodies in the kingdom. Digital transformation facilitated interaction with all local, regional and international developments in addition to introducing supportive decisions and legislation that enabled the Kingdom to consolidate relations with major companies specialized in the technical field, especially at the level of digital transformation of government services and systems. The National Action Charter formed the foundation of freedom of opinion in the Kingdom of Bahrain in any method of expression. More in this report. The right to express an opinion is guaranteed by the National Action Charter, which came by a vision of His Majesty the King, who constituted a starting point for a development project that led the Kingdom of Bahrain to a comprehensive development where journalism and media were given space to exercise their national role in a democratic climate to highlight the civilized approach of the Kingdom. Media achievements made during the era of His Majesty the King were a result of His Majesty's belief in the importance of the role of the press and media in shaping the features and future of Bahrain, as media made remarkable development in line with the comprehensive development process and the qualitative leaps and gains it achieved at all levels. The press and media also receive support from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister as they are an active component of Team Bahrain through the issues and opinions they adopt that support national action through its productions and outputs across various stages of history. Over the course of decades, Bahraini press has been able to express the aspirations of the nation and its citizens. Jordanian player Abdullah Shelebi qualified for the quarterfinals of the singles category in the Ministry of Interior Bahrain Tennis Challenger after defeating the second, uh, the second uh, Italian player Fabio Foggini in an instant match during the 16th round of the tournament held on the Public Security Officers Club courts. During the exhibition held on the sidelines of the tournament, various activities were held to mark the National Action Charter anniversary including a performance by the police band. <laughs> 